Welcome to Learn Automotive. In my previous video on vehicle trace, I have shown you how the accelerated pedal relates with the throttle body and also I have I got a comment that what exactly the throttle body is. Yes, let me show you what exactly the throttle body and where it is located. And in this video, I will continue with how the engine RPM relates with vehicle speed as well as the calculated engine load. That's what all about in this video. Before that, if you would like to follow this channel, you can do subscribe, chat your friends. If you would like to follow me in any of the social media, yes, you are always welcome to have a technical discussion and know about the walk-in and refer drives. Let's see what exactly the throttle body is and where it is located. Here I have opened the cost bonnet to show you the throttle body. So here, yeah. Uh, before the yeah this is the throttle body actually you have seen and uh, yeah uh, so this is the engine compartment here we have the four cylinders uh, that is the four cylinder walls and uh, yeah here this is the exactly the throttle body so if you see the throttle body we have two wires uh, connected that is this is a bus that is a can bus or uh, flex ray bus so here this is the one wire that is bus and uh, bottom is on a, another bus so these will uh, keep on transmit the information that how much the throttle body is opened the percentage you can we can read right so this is all about the throttle body and this is placed in between the engine compartment and uh, the airfoil manifold there uh, we have the filter that is the air is coming uh, from the atmosphere should be purified that is filtered uh, and uh, so in comment i have seen some of raw not familiar with ecu has been where it exactly is placed so here this is on ecu and uh, here also another ecu so these kind of ecu uh, you know the open uh, part can be seen in your lab so this is how it is be placed in the real car all right so yeah let's let's see more on uh, the trace engine trace from these ecu I got a comment to explain about the throttle body so I have shown you where exactly the throttle body uh, is and uh, the the main uh, purpose of the throttle body is to allow the air to have the fuel and uh, air there is a fuel air uh, mixture combustion process so for that uh, the air is required for the for the particular reason we are uh, using uh, throttle body and here if see here here then the picture it is turned the throttle the body butterfly is turned. in uh, in uh, if it is connected to the accelerator pedal how much accelerator pedal is pressed uh, as per that this will open so uh, if it is uh, the by default it would be like a 14 percentage or 13 percentage depends on the oem to oem for the idling portion so whenever you are trying to accelerate it will open so that so this how much it is opening this will sense and uh, it will sense to the uh, ecu and uh, will get the trace like how much it is open so how much percentage it is open that is how much percentage it is allowing the air inside to have a fuel mixture uh, ratio so as per this the calculated engine load and uh, engine rpm and the vehicle speed everything will be depends all right so this is the purpose of the throttle body and i have shown you where it will be in, in the real car also all right so now we'll see how this throttle body position will impact the speed and um, sorry not only speed engine rpm speed and calculated engine load all right so let's see about uh, the trace vehicle trace on the same i hope now you are aware on what exactly the throttle body is where it is located and what is the purpose of throttle body let's see the vehicle trace that i have taken when i was driving the vehicle so here see the obd holes when i started so here i am starting the vehicle when i started the obd holes is uh, comes like 9 10 it will always uh, from 9 to 16 or 17 max so how you used to test in your laboratory like low voltage over voltage and normal voltage usually used to give uh, normal voltages 11 or 12 or uh, 13 all right so this is what the obd voltage is it's like a battery that battery supply what the ecu makes so that's what we we are always uh, keep the voltage level as 13 or 14 or max is 16 and the over voltage we can give us 18 right like to check the over voltage fault all right so in even our previous video have uh, checked uh, because of the under voltage fault how the uh, airbag faults occur everything we have seen in our previous video the links also given in the description okay so here the obd voltage is fine the next is throttle position so this is what the throttle body i was shown just now so here the throttle position is if you see so i'm pausing here see here it's it's around for if, you, if the throttle position is open i, I already shown you right so how the throttle position opens it 
uh, it allows the air to enter and do air fuel mixture. So here, if you open the throttle portion to 54 percentage, see the calculated engine load is. It comes around 86. 0.27 percent out of 100 so that means that much so whenever you are allowing the throttle body that much air has comes and that much air fuel mixture has starts to do the combustion process so so here even it, it reaches 90 also i observe yeah yeah okay anyhow let uh, we continue so we'll get that so whenever we are opening the throttle position so as i said in my previous video and even again i am repeating the throttle position is by default it will be like 14 or 15 and uh, whenever you are trying to uh, press the accelerator the throttle position keep on varies and um, yeah once it will keep on varies so that the engine calculated engine load also varies so this is the relation between the throttle position and calculated engine load uh, see even here it's reaching uh, as 90 also all right and uh, let's see how the throttle position impacts the engine rpm whenever the throttle position so again throttle position is a basic input from the accelerator pedal so the throttle position with the calculated engine load is clear whenever again now it's throttle position with engine rpm so whenever the throttle position is uh, higher the engine rpm is higher again say for example this is a start whenever we are starting the vehicle say it's 650 rpm that means it's idling so the throttle position is 12 or 13 it is a, a default throttle position to just to have a big uh, minimal fuel and air mixture happens right so for that it also whenever it start see it's a thousand 1200 so whenever the throttle position is become 15 or 16 the engine rpm also goes 14 uh, sorry uh, 1400 rpm or 1200 rpm so this is all about the throttle position with engine rpm and uh, yes you can always see the obd volts so voltage how it is varying like how you are in your uh, laboratory it is uh, keep on uh, uh, constant but here it is changing because of the pc and there is a computer so in the engine computer uh, for the OBD voltage may uh, takes time to time so that is what it is keep on varying and finally the throttle position with the speed see uh, if the throttle position is like 16 or 17 the engine rpm is 9 1900 or 2000 like that is 2000 rpm and the calculated engine load is again it is if it is a 20 throttle position then it is on uh, it is uh, 30 or 40 percentage and see here the throttle position is 50 plus then the in calculated engine load is becoming 80 or 90 also sometimes and the speed is just 50 so speed also doesn't matter because say for example if you are if you have a slight acceleration if you are going on the normal road so definitely the speed will be normal if you have the same slight acceleration if you are going in the downhill road so the speed will be more and uh, the another another scenario if you are going uphill the speed will always lesser so uh, speed always keep on uh, varies it depends on the uh, surface and here i have driven on a normal surface a flat surface so usually it is whenever uh, the throttle position is uh, the throttle position is 30 or 40 and the uh, engine rpm is uh, 1500 or 1400 the speed will become th 30 kilometer or 50 kilometer that's it per heart so this is all about the vehicle test and the relationship between how the throttle position that is how the accelerator pedal impacts this engine rpm calculated engine load and speedometer so this is all about the vehicle race the part i think the third part so maybe the next video will be on the, again the uh, dtc status status of the dtcs that uh, we have uh, uh, we have been left with the previous video and after that we'll uh, try to continue uh, complete the re dtc information service 19 from unified diagnostic service i hope you learned something in this video if yes hit a like and if you have any suggestion or any topic you want as yes, you can always leave a comment and as we got a comment like to uh, have uh, videos on electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles as definitely it's about to come and uh, yes please do subscribe and chat your friends if you want to follow me in instagram or facebook yes you are always welcome to have technical discussions we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care